Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I'm Rabbi Ken Cantor, the rabbinical director of Roots of Reform Judaism, and we welcome you to our Shabbat service tonight. Our service begins to set a tone because Roots of Reform Judaism not only is a liturgical organization, an educational organization, a scholarly organization, it's also a musical organization. And we begin our service tonight with the great composer of the 19th century of Germany, Louis Lewandowski. And while those of you who are knowledgeable about liturgy would say, the Matobu is a Shabbat morning song, it seemed to us a perfect way through this choral music to set a mood for this Shabbat. Matobu o halecha Yaakov, how goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, thy dwelling places, O Israel. we began our service with the elegant and beautiful music of 19th century reform liturgy, the music of Louis Lewandowski. So we continue now in our worship service, as we hope that you will share with us in our prayers tonight, in our prayer book, A Time to Reflect. The words are familiar to us, the music from all the different periods of our reform Jewish heritage as we begin with those words of welcome, so familiar to all of us. Hine matov umanayim, shevet achim gam yachad. How good it is and how lovely for people to be together, living and working in friendship, building a world of peace. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hag is a sanctuary for Israel. Throughout our wanderings, it has been a visible reminder of the presence of God in our people's midst and a home of justice, mercy, and peace. Its truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its God is the God of all people. As it has been said, my house shall be a house of prayer for all people. May the door of this sacred space be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this sanctuary be narrow enough to shut out pettiness, envy, and enmity. May this community be the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life for all who gather here. Come let us welcome Shabbat. May its radiance warm our hearts as we light these candles. Light is the symbol of the divine. The eternal God is our light and our hope. Light is a symbol of the holiness within each of us. The human spirit is the light of God. Light is the symbol of the divine law. For the commandment is a lamp and the Torah is a light. Light is the symbol of Israel's mission. As it is written, I have made you a covenant people to serve as a light to the nations. In the spirit of our ancient tradition that hallows and unites Israel in all lands and all ages, we kindle the lights of Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kedeshanu v'mitzvotah, v'tzivanu v'hadli ner, shel Shabbat. We give thanks to you, eternal God, creator of the universe, for giving us laws, ethical teachings, and rituals that help guide and enrich our lives. May the light of these Sabbath candles usher in a peaceful and joyful time of rest. quiet hour of worship, we reflect on the meaning of our lives. We cherish a vision of our higher selves, a dream of who we can be. May we pursue this vision and work to make our dreams a reality. An artist can, a course of painting will pause, lay down the brush, step back from the canvas and consider what needs to be done what direction is to be taken. Let each of us pause to reflect on the meaning of our lives. We continue now on page four in our prayer books. As those who are comfortable in doing so may please rise as we continue with the call to worship. Barhu at Adonai Hamborach, blessed is the eternal God to whom all praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Le'olam Va'ed. Let us praise the source of life to whom all praise is due now and forever. <laughs> Oh, 
We give thanks to you, O God, creator of the universe, by whose law the shadows of evening fall and the gates of each new day are opened. In wisdom, you have established the changes of times and seasons and ordered the ways of the stars in their heavenly courses. You are the creator of heaven and earth, the source of all life. O oh God, how can we know you? Where can we find you? You are as close to us as breathing and yet farther than the most distant star. You are as mysterious as the vastness of the night sky and yet are as familiar to us as the light of the sun. Even to Moses, you said, you cannot see my face but I will make all my goodness pass before you. Your goodness passes before us in the realm of nature and in the varied experiences of our lives. When justice burns like a fire within us, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion, we proclaim our belief and the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness, we are truly doing your will. You live in our hearts. Through righteous action, we affirm your presence. We continue now at the bottom of page five with our sacred words of the Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Hero Israel, the eternal is our God. The eternal God is one. Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Laolam Vahed. Blessed is the source of life, to whom all thanks are due, now and forever. Oh, 
For those of you who are standing for the Shema, please be seated. As we continue now in our prayer declaring God's love for us and our love for God with the Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, v'chol levavcha, v'chol nafshecha, v'chol meodecha. V'hayu hadavarim ha'ele, asher anochi mitzavcha hayom ha'levavcha. Love the eternal God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Take these words I speak to you today into your heart. Teach them diligently to your children. Speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk along the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign on your hand, and they will be a symbol before your eyes. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that you may remember and do all my commandments and be holy to your God. I am the Eternal One who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your God. Hear, O Israel, the divine abounds everywhere and dwells in everything. The many are one. Loving life and its mysterious source with all our heart and all our spirit, all our senses and strength, we take upon ourselves and into ourselves these promises. To care for the earth and those who live upon it. To pursue justice and peace. To love kindness and compassion. We will teach this to our children throughout the passage of the day as we dwell in our homes and as we go on our journeys from the time we rise until we fall asleep. And may our actions be faithful to our words that our children's children may live to know truth and kindness have embraced, peace and justice have kissed and are one. Mi chamocha ba'elim Adonai, mi kamocha ne'edar ba'kodesh, no ra tehilot ose fele. Who is like you, eternal one? Who is like you, creator of heaven and earth, awe-inspiring, working wonders? In their escape through the parted sea, our people saw your power and exclaimed, Adonai im loch le'olam va'ed, the eternal God will reign forever and ever.
eternal source of life. May we lie down in peace and awake each morning renewed with life and strength. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Help us to live our lives by your ethical teachings. Lead us along paths of righteousness. Show us how to shield ourselves from hatred and war, from pestilence and sorrow. Curb our inclination to do evil and embrace us with your presence. Guard our going out and our coming in to life and peace from this time forth and forever. We give thanks to you, eternal God, for the gift of life. Ash ki venu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom, l'shalom. V'hamidenu malkenu l'chayim. Ufros aleinu sukat shlom echa, ufros aleinu sukat shlom echa. God of our fathers, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, a heritage has come down to us through our people's long journey. God of our mothers, God of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, a great legacy has been handed down to us. When others worshiped gods who were indifferent to goodness, our mothers and fathers turn to the one whose ethical teachings unite all people in justice and love. When education was only offered to princes and priests, our sages opened their doors to all who sought to understand. In a world where the weak were tormented by oppressors, our Torah taught us to love the poor and the stranger. Where the sword ruled, we were taught to seek peace and pursue it. You are with us in our prayer, in our love, and our doubt, in our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still, clear voice within us. When doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble, and when pain clouds our minds, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. May we find you there and find strength, courage, insight, and comfort, knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. Let our prayers bring us closer to one another and let us say amen. God of ages past and future, God of this day, as you were with our mothers and fathers, be with us as well. As you strengthen them, strengthen us. As you were their guide, be ours as well. Grant that we too may be bearers of your teaching, teachers of your truth. 
Then our tradition will endure, and our people, Israel, will live. From mother and father, to daughter and son, and all who follow them. One generation comes, one generation passes. Each of us is a link to the endless chain of our tradition. Students of the Torah become teachers. Our faith and our ideals endure. Our people and our values live on. May every Shabbat be a sanctuary of love and devotion, bringing contentment to our hearts, happiness to our homes, and blessings to our lives. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, eternal source of peace. Bless our country that it may always be a stronghold of peace and its advocate in the Council of Nations. May contentment reside within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and harmony among the inhabitants of all lands. Plant virtue in every soul and bless every home and every heart. In this moment of silent prayer, I hear a still small voice speaking to me, guiding and teaching me. May I always try to do what is right, even when no one is watching. May I be gracious in the face of ingratitude or slander. May I face all of life's trials courageously. May I live each day using my unique gifts to help others as well as my family and myself. May I relish every moment of joy, beauty, and love in this day and every day. May I use my words, deeds, and actions to bless the lives of others, leaving behind a better world for all.
now turn our thoughts to family members and friends, to those in our community and world who are in need of healing in mind, body, or spirit. We pray that they will receive the care and support they need for a full recovery. If this is not possible, we pray that their faith and the love of their family, friends, and caregivers will comfort them and bring them peace. Eternal One, we thank you for the gift of life and for the healing powers that you have planted within us. We pray that you sustain our loved ones through this time of illness. Grant them courage and strength to endure pain and weakness. Teach us how best to be with them through our love and our care. May our dear ones and all who are ill be restored to health and return to family and friends. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, eternal source of life and peace. Amen. <laughs> Well, my dear friends, it is official. We have just experienced our second Passover during the COVID pandemic. One more time, in order to assure 
prudent distancing and remote social gathering, by the grace of Zoom, we have celebrated our Passovers. Our family came to the table for Seder this year, though the tables were four, just like the Seder's famous four questions and the four children. But the tables were in four different cities, Cincinnati, Atlanta, New Orleans, and Boston. And you know what? Just like so many other families, probably yours included, the love of the generations and the ever-relevant message of the Haggadah's ceremonials still came through. For sure, oh, not the same as being together. But nevertheless, we felt the love. One of the unforgettable delights, I think, of the Seder evening is the robust, if not always tuneful, singing of that beloved song, Dayenu. We would never ever think of skipping that moment, would you? Think about those opening words for just a moment. Elu hotsi hotsi anu, hotsi anu mi meets Ryan. Had God brought us out of Egypt and not divided the sea for us, Dayenu. Do you remember the Torah's account of what happened after the 600,000 former Hebrew slaves from the youngest to the eldest marched out into the Egyptian desert? Do you remember that? I mean, even if you were absent on that day in religious school, come on, I know you've seen the movie, The Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston. And you remember how According to the Torah, we came to the sea, Red Sea, Sea of Reeds, you choose. Pharaoh's charioteers were in hot pursuit. Once again, Pharaoh had changed his mind, and this time he said, I want you to bring them back. Bring back those Israelite, those Hebrew slaves. I want them back to their labors. But look what was in front of us an entire sea prohibiting our escape. Behind us, the charioteers approaching. In front of us, looking from the cliffs overlooking the sea, a tremendous and dangerous sea. But wait, miracle of miracles, the sea divided, and there before us was dry land, okay. It might have been a little moist, affording our escape. The charioteers, we remember, were not as lucky. Now our Jewish sages pondered, and they pondered, what was it that happened in that last second which made the sea divide? and make a way for our people's escape. For you and for me, we were there, don't forget. So the rabbis spun a tale to explain it. They wrote a midrash, which explained how the people were naturally, they were frozen in fear and indecision until one of them dared to jump from the cliff into the sea. With no end to their imagination, the Midrashic authors actually went on to ID the name of that courageous individual who leapt into the sea. They said that he, he was the head of the tribe of Judah and they provided his name. His name was Nachshon ben Aminadab. Not God, mind you, but a person, 
an heroic and a courageous individual who in the face of certain death or with the future of continued slavery, which is the same thing as death, this man chose instead to go forward, come what may. And so he jumped into the sea. And it was, the Midrash teaches us, only after he did so, only after Nachshon jumped into the sea and God witnessed that leap. And that's when the sea divided and the future presented itself. Years ago, I came across an instructive poem, which I so dearly treasure. And this is how it goes. When you come to the Red Sea place in your life, when in spite of all you can do, there is no way back, there's no way round, there's no other way but through, then trust in the Lord with a faith supreme till the night and the storms are gone. God will still the winds. God will part the waves. When God says to your soul, go on, I wonder, when you look back on your life, do you recognize any Red Sea places that you may already have encountered? Perhaps you're facing some right now. Business failures in this tough economy, marital troubles, or a lack of harmony at home? Have you known despair? Are you depressed? Are you suffering the loss of a precious dear one and feeling the grief of their absence? Have you met with great disappointment? And really, isn't this time, this continuing time of the COVID-19 pandemic and all that it has meant to everyone and everything that we know, is it anything but a Red Sea place of choosing life over death? As God is the divine liberator of the Passover redemption, remember Moses' name is mentioned, what, twice in the course of the Haggadah? Nevertheless, that Midrash teaches us how an individual of flesh and blood, a man of great courage, Nachshon ben Aminadav, at a crucial moment in the juncture of his life and of our lives, played a crucial role in the life of the Jewish future. God and human in partnership join in the constant struggle toward justice and truth in our world. Our Judaism is teaching us the enlargement of human compassion. And yes, unearned love should be extended toward others. And we as individuals can extend that love. The Union Prayer Book, Judaism's incomparable liturgy, puts it so prayerfully. Help us to become co-workers with thee and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. My friends, this is not a world for sissies. 
Our Creator has not placed us in a garden where roses have no thorns and where everything works out just dandy. But whatever you are facing, your Judaism is a faith which reassures that we are never alone in this life. We are embraced by a loving God who would have us get ourselves up and battle with integrity against the hate, the divisiveness, the injustice of our times and steadfastly to jump into the surging tide in our individual lives, to struggle against the challenges that we face. When you come to the Red Sea place, there's no way back. There's no way round. There is no other way but through. God will part the waves when God says to your soul, go on, go on, go on. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Cohen, for those beautiful and inspiring words. We appreciate your message and the thought that came with it. As we invite you now, those of you comfortable in doing so, to rise for the adoration, which you'll find in our prayer book in the center of page 18. Let us adore the ever-living God. We render praise unto you who spread out the heavens and established the earth, and whose glory is revealed in the heavens above and whose greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God. There is none else. We bow our heads in awe and reverence to the source of all life. Those of you who are standing, please be seated. May the time not be distant, O God, when unbelief will disappear and error be no more. We pray that the day may come when all people will be guided by your teachings, when corruption and evil will give way to purity and goodness when superstition will no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye. May all created in your image recognize that we are one family, so that one in spirit and one in harmony, we may be forever united before you. Then peace and justice will be established on earth and the word of your ancient prophet be fulfilled. The eternal God is with us forever and ever. Bayom hahu, ihya adonai echad, ba'amo echad. On that day, God will be one, and all of God's people will be one. Thoughts now turn 
to friends, neighbors, and loved ones who have died, and to the martyrs of our people, and those of every race, nation, and faith whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. They have all entered into the peace of eternal life. They still live on earth in the acts of goodness they performed and in the hearts of those who cherish their memory. May the beauty of their lives abide as a loving benediction. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the rustling of leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. We continue now with our prayer of thanksgiving for all of those whom we love and all of those whom we have lost as we share in the reading of our Kaddish prayer, our sanctification of God. For those of you comfortable in doing so, I invite you please to rise as together we read on page 22. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah v'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich machutei v'chayechon v'yomechon Uvchaye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Va Agala Uvizman Kariv, Ve Imru, Amen. Yehe Shame Rabba Mibarach la Olam Olme Olmaya. It Barach Vish Tabach Vit Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase. Vita Dar Vita Le Vita Lal Shame de Kudja Burihu. La Ela Min Kol Birchata Vishirata. Tush b'chata v'nechemata, da amiran ba'alma v'imru, amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu ya'ase shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. And let us say, Amen. <laughs>
now, in closing, a prayer that is familiar to all of us, our priestly benediction. May God bless us and watch over us. May the source of life be gracious to us. Yisa Adonai Panavelecha, Viasem Lecha Shalom. May God's presence be with us and bring us peace. We began our service with one of the great anthems of the 19th century of Louis Lewandowski. And we conclude our service tonight with another of the great anthems of our classic reformed Jewish music, the composer. Max Janowski, Sim Shalom, grant us peace, thy most precious gift, words for which we pray on this Shabbat and every Shabbat with those words of the great composer of our reformed Jewish tradition. you so much for being with us on this Shabbat. We hope you'll visit our website, rootsofreform.org, not only to see the ritual of our services, but to do some wonderful educational reading and studying, all found along with so much more music for you to enjoy on our website. And as we began in the 19th century and end the service with the middle of the 20th century, so we conclude under the titles and credits with a composer who is writing right now, the end of the 20th and now the 
beginnings of the 21st century, Michael Oakes, setting words that are so familiar to us, Ose shalom bim romav, hu ya'ase shalom, aleinu va'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Grant us peace, thy most precious gift, a blessing of peace for all of God's children, for all of us. Shabbat shalom, amen. Say shalom bim romav, who ya say shalom malenu. Who say shalom bim romav, who ya say shalom malenu. Who say shalom bim romav. Shalom, ya se shalom, shalom alein be'ako Israel. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom alein be'ako Israel. O se shalom dim Roma. Shout!